in mind when I made this channel, it could be about anything. I can talk about this subject, this subject, this subject, play games on here. The point of the channel is to make any video I want and just keep it real. All right, here we go. This video, here we go. The test, the test units being sent out. Okay, let's go look at this video and the amount of shilling that is in this video is ridiculous. It's subtle shilling, but it's still extreme shilling. So basically this guy, Mr. Molest, okay, he basically gets sent products and then he reviews them on his channel. So basically he's a shill, okay? He basically shills for products, gets them sent to him for free, then he reviews them in a mostly positive way. So therefore him and DJ Cuck get these stupid test units, these test unit foot, foot baths to test out. And let's go look at what this guy has to say about it. Here's the cool thing. Here it is. And since just look at this look at this game right now. Crappy Finnegan Fox. Literally shovelware mobile that you find on your phone to play. You can literally go on your Apple TV right now, download a game that sort of looks like this, plays like this, and have the time of your life and download it for one dollar or for free. You don't have to pay half a grand to get this stupid shovelware box. I know, Seth, that when we went to Crayola last year, you were so excited. And the look on your face when you were playing Astro Smash and playing Finnegan Fox, I know you've been patiently waiting to get your hands on it again. What are you talking about? This is shovelware games. If he's so excited to play these kind of games, go show him the Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and friggin' PS5 and download all the games you want on the eShop. And he'll have the time of his life, okay? So what we're going to be doing is testing this out. So what does playtesting mean? Um, yes, please tell us, Mr. Game Journalist. You're so credible. You never shield for anything. You give honest reviews. Please tell us what game testing is. This is not a review of the system. What we're going to do right now is simply unbox it and show you what it looks like. Oh, because we haven't seen that before. Friggin' Captain of the Pirate Ship. John Avocado with his friggin' gold coins in the Cayman Islands opening a stupid box and a friggin' shovelware box out of that. That stupid box with all those spelling mistakes, okay? The crappy boxing, crappy wrapping, everything. We haven't seen that before. However, for the moment, all we can do is that. We're going to be hooking it up. We're going to be playing uh, games. I, as a, uh, I'm also, I also have an IT background, so... Um, from I don't care. We all have IT backgrounds. We all know what the hell it is. You're not super smart because you have an IT background. We all have IT backgrounds, okay? From my perspective, I'm going to put the system through some paces of the UI and, and some technical pieces, what it's like downloading games from the store, what it looks like when it fires up, setting up profile things. So basically, he's just going to test the speeds of things. How long does it take from get to this spot, to the booting process? How long does it take to download games off your fake eShop? How long does it take for it to friggin' register this, this? That's all he's doing. You're not doing anything. Have some real criticism and tell your lover, Tommy, that the games suck and that this thing isn't worth $500 to $1,000. Like that. And then we're going to check out how the controller works, if there's anything that um, their internal teams missed. Oh, you mean like the lag? You mean like the lag that we've been seeing on all their YouTube videos when they were played games? Why don't you tell them about that? Oh, they already know about that, but they can't fix it because this thing is just basically a cell phone in a foot bath and they're playing shovelware. Um, in their testing, um, you know, this is standard stuff. So um, I'm very... Uh, if I'm it's standard stuff, then why did it take them four years to release a stupid foot bath? Okay, friggin' two years ago, it was 99% done on the launch pad, and all Tommy needed was just more money, millions of dollars to fund it, and then that's gone. Tommy's out of the picture. Now friggin' Phil Adam comes in, tries to, you know, patch, you know, bandage all the, the, the stuff that went wrong to make it look like they're actually going to release something, but really, they're uh, avocado and uh, scammeronis in the Cayman Islands laughing it up, eating avocados with his pirate ship and his gold coins very grateful and thankful for Intellivision for allowing us this opportunity and Seth they want very thankful to Intellivision and all that okay there's two of you you and DJ Cuck the two of the biggest shills known that Intellivision had ever seen that is consistently shilled 
throughout the whole process, okay? You're the two being sent the test products. Oh, I'm sure that's not gonna be a biased review. I wanted to see how you reacted to the system again and what your thoughts are on the controller um, and how it works and how well every- Great, so you have this guy and his, and his, and his, uh, and his child reviewing the damn thing. I'm sure it's not gonna be biased. Okay, I'm sure it's not, it's just obviously gonna be biased. It's just obviously just shilling for the thing so that Intellivision, the fake Intellivision, can try to sell as much products as they can to make as much money back as they can so that they can pay Sadesh, who has that stupid loan contract where it says that every $100 from every console sold goes to his pocket. They need to pay that back. That's why they're trying as hard as possible to make this Intellivision foot bath look as good as it can so that they can sell it to the masses, to the dumb enough people, the masses, Okay, so that they can pay back that guy who has the loan. So dash. Thing runs. So, you ready, ready to do that? Excellent. Seth, here's the box. I, I will, will go, go ahead. ahead. I've, I've got, got this, this really cool multi-tool that I got a long time ago for Midway. Um, I can't even remember. This might have come with, um, uh, uh, this might have come with my review copy of... Exactly, all he does is shills the companies tells him, send me a free copy and I'll review it for you for free and I'll make it look good. That's all he does. I'm sure he's not gonna, I'm sure he's gonna do the same thing with this foot bath. Uh, Spy Hunter, cause Midway did Spy Hunter games back then. It's a really Wait. neat multi-tool. So I'm gonna use this to open up the, the box with. And then Seth, we're gonna take it out of the box and show everybody. I'm being careful. I'm sure on television picked free delivery. They're not, they didn't expedite it, they just picked free delivery because they don't even have the funds to deliver things fast enough to their friggin' shill reviewers. Damages. Now, I also, also have no idea, idea what we're going to get here. So You're gonna get a foot bath. I also wanna make it- That weighs like two pounds with a friggin' cell phone, cell phone uh, chip in it that plays cell phone games. That's exactly what you're gonna get. Uh, clear. This is not our Founders Edition. We have pre-ordered a Founders Edition console. This is not a Founders Edition. This is not a production console. This was- I'm sure it's not a Founders Edition because they don't even have it done. Let's crack it open. Let's see what's inside. Right. Packing, Packing material. material. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Oh, oh, peanuts and they're loose. Oof. I hope those peanuts are biodegradable as your physical games. Oh, sorry, not games, physical products. They're not even games. They're just products that you have to get a scan the stupid chip so it connects to the server, then download the games. You don't even have actual games in your hands. Those biodegradable games are not even games. They're just physical products, a stupid card, a coin from China, and a lenticular card that you get out of a gumball machine. Great. All right. It's like I'm gonna be sweeping up later. So. Oh, you're so funny. Well now, all right. So a while back, John Alvarado did a video where he um, he showed the, the, the box and what the box looks like. It The box with spelling mistakes, a, a dent right in the middle of it, things not even packed properly. Looks like they've shipped this test unit in the box that they're going to ship the actual system with, or at least some form of it. See, did you hear that? At least some form of it. Oh, they're gonna ship the system in, or at least some form in it. What form are they gonna send it in? Oh, you mean like that licensing deal they had with that stupid company to, you know, hold, I don't know what it was, I forgot what it was, like, oh, Forger Games on this platform? That's the, that's the way they're gonna send it, or some version of it. All right, All right Seth. Um, all right, you know what? I'm not worried about the peanuts falling on the floor. Go ahead and take it out of the box. This is for you to unbox, my friend. All right, let me get this out. Can we get real people reviewing this thing? Like actually go to a real place with real people, with real thoughts, with real feelings that aren't gonna shill. Can we get dumb to review it? Not these two shills here that are known, that right from the beginning, this person says he's in love with Tommy. Tommy then crushes his heart and says, forget about that. This is business. I'm getting money here, okay? I'm getting money. St forget your stupid podcast and your stupid show. I'm using you to sell this stupid foot bath so I can make as much money as possible then sail off to the Cayman Islands with my captain. By the way, I've got peanuts all over me now. 
He bork, bork, bork. Okay. <laughs> little little Swedish, Swedish chef action, action there. All right, Thanks, Sethi, let's, uh, why don't you hold that up for everybody? So this is, show them the front and the back. So, Upside down. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's okay. So this is a graphite black. Very cool. Um, here, I'll bring it a little closer. So this is, you've already seen, I'm not going to do anything special here. Um, because if you really want to see a more you know in depth we'll do maybe another video about the box art yeah please do an in-depth video about the box because i'm going to roast that video too please do it for all of us the only people watching your stupid videos are people like me and like other people that are just here to make fun of how ridiculously overpriced this is for such a bad product that you get with garbage games that's the only people watching this and stuff like that but you can certainly see um certainly see the box Again, they're just harping about the box. That was the main selling point is the box, the box, the box, and no one cares about the shovelware games. All right. All right, Seth. Um, I think if I remember John's, there we go. Go ahead. John, don't refer to him as John, okay? Refer to him as your captain, captain of the ship, because he's in Cayman Islands with all your money, laughing it up with Scamroni. He is not John to you. He is Captain Avocado. Pull it. And I just hate it when they refer to them as with their first name. Like they're so personal with them. Like, the, like they're your best friends. Oh, Tommy this and John this and Phil that. They're not your friends, okay? They're grifters that took your money and used you because you're simps and you'll easily cuck to them because of this stupid Intellivision brand. That's not even Intellivision, by the way. Mattel in, their fr in Mattel in the friggin' SCC documents or whatever said, we have nothing to do with this new Intellivision thing. This Intellivision was just bought out by some greasy leprechaun so you can trick your people into buying this stupid shovelware system and make him as much money as possible. So let's see what we got. And there it is. There it is. Well, thank God they wrapped it for once. Thank God. How much did how much did that put a dent in their budget? Go ahead. And... That's cool. Ah, oh good. They at least sent they sent an HDMI cable. And they Well, I would think they would send an HDMI cable. That's what it was sold as to have HDMI. They better send a cable. Sent the power supply. Oh, there's that Chinese power supply. That works with any 12 volt DC, AC, whatever the hell it is. All right. So the box, so the box itself, I'm not going to go through the box too, too much. We can do another kind of deep dive into the box. Itself. Yes, you can do another deep dive, get another thousand views. So you can make another extra five bucks every monthly for your stupid videos so that we can make fun of it. Self, but um, the console was on the top stuff. Uh, there was... Uh, uh, nothing, nothing in the middle underneath, but the HDMI cable was on one side and the power cable was over here. So a nice little box. Yeah, who cares about the box, okay? Freaking Scam Maroney was harping about the box over and over and over, saying this was going to be the next level box that I was ever, th this new invention box that they were going to sell it as in the freaking uh, store so it'd be so eye appealing to people. It's a garbage piece of plastic in another piece of cardboard. Now, I, I'm going to admit, the Xbox Series X box was very well packed. I'm not saying this isn't. This is just it's a little more um, a little more basic. Oh, well, thank you for being honest for once. Thank you for admitting that the box is crap and that other boxes are better. But thank you for not... Oh, but uh, not to mention the, the $500 to $1,000 price thing for this stupid console with two controllers. Not to mention the four years that they delayed over and over and over for releasing this, not to mention the millions that they sold, that they stole from people in the stupid investment scams and trash JT losing his 10K. Don't mention that. Oh, don't mention the lag on the controller when you're trying to play games like Finnegan Fox and basic shovelware games. Don't mention any of that, but thank you for criticizing the box. You're such an honest reviewer. Thank you so much. You are so honest. I'm glad you got the test unit to show us all an honest review. Thank you.
Thank you for criticizing the box. We've all been waiting for that. Not to mention the million other things that they did wrong. Uh, it does say, I'm Amico right down there. So you know you're getting Amico. In case you haven't fixed it already. Yeah. Oh, I know I'm getting an Amico with a $500 dent in my freaking budget. I know I'm getting an Amico. In case you haven't figured it out already. Okay. All right. The branded Amico power supply. Literally a Chinese power supply, and they hand painted the stupid Amico thing on there. And it is just a uh, regular barrel. All right. HDMI cable, nothing special there. Nothing special anywhere. It's shovelware. Go ahead, I'll take that. Go ahead, pull it out. It's heavy. Hmm. All right, here's two controllers. And... Nice! nice. A John I'm Alvarado... A John Alvarado card. Oh. oh, great. A grifter's card. A, a pirate got some pirate. Pirate's card that he stole from all the masses. He's putting that in there for the test units or maybe the consoles. He's like, thank you for your, all your appreciation. Thank you, Avocado, for everything you've done. And you tested the shovelware games. Thank you for lying to us and telling us that all the packing games are finished on the streams. But then he double backed and said, actually, they're not finished. Thank you so much, Avocado for having Cornhole, a completely different game now because the controller didn't work on it. Thank you so much for this card and your appreciation. I'm sure you're laughing it up, touring Europe in your pirate ship with Scamaroni in Italy, eating all everything that you can and all the gourmet food and having all this and all that. Excellent. Software Technical Director. And this, by the way... Software Technical Director, a.k.a. Captain of the Pirate Ship. And yes, uh... This, by the way, is what the original Intellivision controller looked like. If you look back on that white Intellivision 2, this is what it looked like just in this color with a silver disc. Yeah, the original Intellivision Mattel, which has nothing to do with this new Intellivision console. All right, so let's see what the Amico looks like from the outer. Um, now, one thing that I am not going to do with this because I'm that's... I'm sure that they would not want me to, as I'm not taking this apart. Uh, yeah, of course they're not going to want you to take it apart. Because if you open it apart, you're going to see that it's a friggin' 1999 2000 cell phone in there with a cell phone chip running friggin' Snake and all those other stupid games that are on the phone. If you actually, if you actually open that up and show us exactly what's in there, we will literally expose all the lies about the chip shortage. Because there was no chip shortage. It was Lay's chips, sour cream and onion chip shortage in their damn gourmet kitchen that they had at their big office. That's the only chip shortage they ever had. Okay. You open that up. You're going to reveal exactly literally what it really is. It's a cell phone in there. Um, all, right, all right. So this does have, Seth, it's got um, lights on front and it's got a light on the side. Oh, yes. Another... The interactive lighting. Because we really need those interactive lighting to play the games and actually finish the games. Those lightings were the biggest piece of trash concept I have ever seen. Light on this side. It's got the power button up front, just like before. Um, and on the back, back. And it's going to be hard to see because it's it's the black uh, model. So it's got yeah. HDMI. It's got USB-C. It's got a micro SD card and then the power supply. There it is. You got a USB and a micro SD. You're literally going to be taking this foot bath shovelware system loading up games on your USB and micro SD and shoving it in and then doubt playing games like that. Just like every other system out there on AliExpress that you can get for 50 bucks. Just like every other system out there for 50 bucks. No, but instead, since this thing is branded within television, you're going to pay $500 for this with the two controllers. So, and uh, so I will tell you that this does not have... Um, I mean, it's got a serial number on it and stuff like that, but the other numbers definitely um, indicate that this is a test unit and not something that's in production. So. 
It's the same test unit that they did with the box opening on. It's the same test unit that they sent around all of Europe to Hans Ippish, sent it to friggin' Dubai for that guy, sent it to friggin' Sadesh to check out and loan everything. All right. Let's take out a controller. Here, you open one, I'll open one. A laggy controller. And there it is. They say it's intuitive, but it's actually not. It actually works against you in actually playing the games. There's the controller. Remember these? Yes. Remember these from the Amico Fest? Yeah, so. it's got that stupid disc on it with the 64 directions because you really need that. It's so precise to play shovelware games on this stupid system. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to charge okay. them, right? So we charge them first, and then when we turn the system on, we're going to go through all, all of, of that. And we're going to... So this is part, part of, of what, what the test, test is, is, Seth. We're going to charge them up. up. We're going to fire, fire up the system. system. And from your Four perspective, percent. you're Four going percent. to give feedback on how... How easy was it to fire up? How, you know, was it was it easy to use the controller? Is it, you know, is there anything with the controller that's not working okay. correctly? You know, anything like that that you can see? Okay, yeah, because his perspective is not going to be biased at all, right? You there, friggin' monitoring everything he does with a pencil and pad in hand, recording everything. His, his Obviously, he's going to be pressured into telling you things that you want to hear. The real test would have been to take this stupid foot bath to Chuck E. Cheese, where real kids are, show them this, and you'll see in 10 seconds that they don't care about these stupid games. They'd rather play real games on the Chuck E. Cheese arcade machines. Um, yeah, sure. Let's take off the... Oh, mine tore. All right. Okay. And at the... Yours came off easy. Mine did not. They're, they're taking, they're peeling off that stupid plastic film on the top of the Amico to protect its screen because it's such a precious piece of software. Well, it is expensive. It's five hundred bucks. Awesome. On the disc. Okay. All right. I'm going to carefully take this. There we go now. All Intellivision is doing, okay, look, I saw I saw a video on YouTube, like a thumbnail. I didn't watch the video, I saw the thumbnail. It said something like, eight million Kickstarter, nothing released, then the company gets sued, okay? All Intellivision is doing is they're trying, all this uh, scammer onies Intellivision is doing right now is trying to release something to the public so that if it ever comes back on them, they can tell the judge that, hey, we tried our best, we did our due diligence, even though we raised all this money, we tried our best to release an actual product. Unfortunately, it failed because of the stupid, uh, uh, the stupid cooties virus that was going on. Because of that, chip shortage, this and that, this and that, we had a hard time, but at least we tried to release something. Therefore, you can't sue us and we're laughing with all your money. That's the goal that this Intellivision is trying to do right now is release something in the public no matter what it is it's something so that they don't get sued later on that's literally what this is that's coming off all right okay, okay. because if you don't release something and you take all that money you can get sued it's like okay that was a scam but technically now it's not a scam because they are releasing something even though it's a piece of crap garbage that they're using the brand to inflate it and using shills like this and DJ Cuck to shill for it, even though that's there, they're still releasing something. So technically under the law, they tried their best and they can't get sued. That's what's going on right now. All right. So the way that they sit on here, Seth, it's just like this. So that's how they charge. All right. You put it right on the... Now, now you, can you can also, also charge, charge it with a USB-C cable, but that's how they wirelessly charge. And, uh, They're saying it's wireless charging, but when you put it, when you dock, when you dock the controller on that foot bath, it's actually connecting to the dock port, which is like a connection. So technically, like it's it's actually not wireless charging because you're still wired there with the dock and docking it on. But technically, they can say it is wireless because there isn't a wire coming from the system to the controller. But it's not really wireless. Um, I, think I think it's, it's safe, safe to show this. Um, 
oh, it's safe to show this. Why are you so scared? Like, I hate this guy's attitude. Like, he's so scared to offend his lover, Scamaroni. Oh, I'm sure it's safe to show it docking on the system. Oh, I'm so... Oh, Tommy, is it safe? Tommy, is it safe? Oh, it is safe. Thank you so much, Tommy. I love you. Please don't get mad at me. I'll do anything for you. I I'm only want to show safe things. I don't want to show anything that it might hurt you in any way. Like, shut the hell up. Throw a set and have a real review and tell us that the games are shovelware garbage. It sits in there pretty nice. It's got a little, there's a little tab here um, and a little tab on the back of the controller. He's literally holding that with one hand. Do you know, I, I can just imagine how light that system is. That foot bath plastic with a mobile, uh, uh, mobile cell phone chip in it is probably so light. He's, I... Even the Super Nintendo is probably heavier than that. And one, like the way he's holding it, he's holding it like this. Like it's not even, it weighs like two pounds, this foot bath. It, it's literally as light as a Frisbee. That thing literally looks like a Frisbee. You could take it outside in the backyard, launch it with all your strength, and it'll go flying over those mountains. And it sits right in there. So, all right. Hi. So, Sethi, we're going to get, get to, to testing. Uh, so, so. Folks, Folks, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, we're going to get the testing, aka shill for the product even more and give Tommy, my lover, as much positive feedback as I can so because I'm in his good books. This is just ridiculous. Now they're going to do the test units. You're going to have DJ Cuck making his videos. And when he does, I'm going to laugh at him too. Then you're going to have them both unboxing it. We're going to re review those videos and laugh at it too. Then we're going to have it slowly go like this, 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 this. It's like... This piece of garbage console is complete trash. It's literally, look at the price tag. It's more than a Nintendo Switch. It's ridiculous. And they're playing shovelware games that you can easily download on the eShop right now on Steam, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PS5. This is all, this is just basically a piece of crap console and you have two shills on the internet trying to shill for it so that Intellivision covers your tracks so they don't get sued by the judge later on for taking all that money while Scamaroni and friggin' Avocados in the Cayman Islands with his pirate ship making repairs to his pirate ship, making it better so when they come along the second time, they'll take more money. Peace.